I feel that joining the Veramed Physician Network gives a lot of benefits to my patients. Uh, certainly, I see a lot of elderly patients and they have a lot of comorbid conditions that are, and certainly are at increased risk of uh, possibly presenting to the emergency room and possibly presenting to the emergency room either comatose or confused or unable to uh, give out information that would be vital at the time that the emergency room physicians would need to know exactly what their diagnoses are, what their medications are, what their advanced directives may be, uh, any of their allergies. And so in talking with my patients about this new technology, I am very excited to be able to offer them something that is secure and safe and would be able to give them access to their electronic medical record. I find that certainly um, having control over your medical problems and medical information is critically important. Uh, patients who have mild dementia uh, I had a, a patient actually who just said, you know, I'm having a little trouble with my memory. He's not really demented at this point in time, but he lives alone. And that was a huge concern. He said, there's no one else there really to advocate for me or that would meet me at the emergency room or that would be able to give out my information. So he was very interested in, in this technology and, and having a microchip implanted so that they could access his information. Certainly those individuals that have more advanced Alzheimer's degree, uh, disease are unable to give out any information about their medical condition. I think the Veramed system also helps make sure of the link between the patient and the physician. So linking up with the physician is critically important um, in being able to better care for your patients, offer them the kind of care that we want to, to give them and make sure that they have access to the treatments that they need if they get in an emergency situation. Well, I was in this cholesterol study for five years, and um, I, I, I do have, I felt, have a cholesterol problem that's under control. I became a, involved in the Veramed chip system because I thought it they had all kind of good things that could happen to people who would have this. So that in extreme cases where you had to go to an emergency room, they'd know right away who you were. It, they wouldn't have to check your, your wallet to see who you were, if you had a wallet, or any other identification. If I had to go to a hospital, I'd find it very comforting to know that if I came there in an unconscious state, that somebody would be able to know who I was and how to find information about me to help me by scanning my arm. I had no apprehensions about it when Dr. Musher mentioned it to me and I told him, fine, by the way, I didn't mull over it or anything. It just makes a lot of sense to me. Being a chairman of a busy emergency trauma department, when patients arrive to us, it's very difficult to identify patients, obviously, if they're unconscious or have altered mental status or are confused. And generally those are the patients that are most critically ill where it's very necessary to get to know them right away, to know not only their past medical history, surgical history, allergies, what medications they're on, who their emergency contacts are, what their blood types are. So it's very important that we get our arms around that information as quick as possible to give the right medication to the right patient at the right time, to be able to get in touch with one's loved ones, and to be able to direct the care that's important for the patient. In the same regard, some patients that come in with altered mental status, that might be their baseline, and they just happen to have wandered away from home like an Alzheimer's patient, and then you're gonna start doing a lot of unnecessary testing and ordering a lot of blood tests and CAT scans and, and really maximizing their care to find out what is wrong. Without the Veramed system, it's very difficult to identify patients. If you're lucky enough to have some identification on the patient and they've been to your hospital before, you could look into archived uh, repository, whether it be a written record uh, from medical records, sometimes that takes uh, that could be in storage, it could take hours to get. Uh, sometimes it could be on, on a computer system um, within the institution like we have here. Uh, but in a lot of instances, you just uh, end up with a phone number that rings to an answering machine. 
very difficult to find family members or identifying people that can lead us to the right direction.